I'm Ozzy Billen and welcome to episode 73 of Raise the Holt. Happy Easter to everybody. Hopefully everybody is enjoying some chocolate and let's hopefully get some goals here to enjoy while we stuff our faces with said chocolate. You can see last episode we had the special Carabao Cup final edition, narrow, tight win over Southampton, but we got the job done thanks to a penalty. Then we went back to business in the league. You can see quite a good result over uh, Bristol City. Now the result looks fantastic. The performance was not so much. This was a really, really tight game actually and 4-0 does not do Bristol City any sort of justice at all, but we got the result. You can see Kone had a screamer, uh, and Deli Ali played really well as well. Uh, so that was really satisfying. Then we went and played Wolves. You can see didn't quite go to plan. We were the slightly better team in this, in my unbiased opinion, um, but we just we could not take our chances, so we can have no complaints with the nil-nil. Then we went and played Fulham. Now, they did not get a shot on goal in this game. We were really, really dominant. Um, almost the reverse of the Bristol City, actually. If this had finished 4-0 and Bristol City finished 1-0, you'd say, yeah, that was probably about right. Um, so we probably deserved to win by a lot more, but we didn't. Again, it was Jordan Cameron, just like in the cup final, that got us across the line. Um, and yeah, so that was that was really good. And of course, all the goals from those games and the others best from the month, you'll see at the end of the episode in goals of the month. Uh, now, before we get on to the Champions League uh, and Middlesbrough, now I think I did say we were playing full on this game. Um, basically what happened is that I was so concentrated on, on uh, this Champions League game, I forgot to record the Fulham game. So we'll do Middlesbrough, that's fine. It's not a big deal, I don't think. Sorry if you were really interested in the Fulham game. Um, but we also have some news in that we have our new youth intake. Um, you see a couple of good players here. We have uh, Matt Savage, False Nine, um, looks like a good prospect, as well as Kobe Tooth interesting name. Uh, maybe someone would like to take over that name because I want to name these guys, as I've said before, after you. So you can see we have quite a few three-star potential players here. Um, I want to name them after you rather than just these random computer-generated names. So if you're interested in having one of these guys named after you, uh, leave me a comment. Uh, tweet me at Aussie Villain and we can definitely look at, at getting a name put in in your honor. But first things first, of course, we have the Champions League. We've got a hole to dig ourselves out of, having lost 2-1 in Moscow. This is the team hoping to dig ourselves out. We're going with Pereira in goal. Golini is just back fit, um, but I just don't want to risk the match sharpness. We've got him on the bench if we need him, but we're going to go with Pereira. We've got Van Drongel and Magnelli and Kone across the back. Davies and Stemankovic. We're going with Lima, Luis Felipe and Deli Ali uh, in midfield with Cameron and Wilson up top. Patrick Roberts picked up a bit of a knock. He's not quite fit yet. I've been easing him back in in the under-23s. Um, I don't think he's quite ready yet. So I'm tempted to put him on the bench, but we won't. <laughs> we'll leave him out for this one. Um, we, have, we have the Boob, Mosley, and Dixon as sort of attacking options on the bench. All right, well, they can see they are going very defensive in this game, aren't they? Holy. Um, at Villa Park, of course, we're going to need the fans. We need everybody at home singing, cheering the guys on. This is... It's going to be tough, isn't it? Do it for the fans. Yeah, all right. We'll say that. Uh, the old calm, we have faith. I'm not uh, not quite sure. It wasn't how the Scouts were expecting them to play. So, yeah, we might have played a little bit more wit. But I'll fix up the tactics and we'll be back for kickoff. There we go. The Villa fans drowning out the UEFA. Champions League anthem. This is just absolutely massive. How embarrassing to go out <laughs> to Moscow uh, after making the final last year, but I'm sure we can do this, can't we? Come on, boys. So I hope everyone has said is having a good Easter. Uh, hopefully everyone enjoyed the Carabao Cup final. It wasn't quite the free-flowing game we would have hoped, but the way that Southampton play, it was never going to be that, was it? Uh, let's see what we can do here. I'd love a goal. So we do have the away goal. So 1-0, it's important to remember here, is enough for us. We don't we don't need to go silly here. What we don't want to do, of course, is, is concede an away goal and go 1-0 down because then we know we need at least two to get the tie back even. There's a good ball in for Cameron. Oh, oh, oh. There it is. That puts us ahead on the tie, ahead on the night. And Jordan Cameron, he's proving to be a little bit of a savior here for us, isn't he? He's uh, popped up with a few goals lately. That's a good header, unstoppable. That's what he's capable of. That's why Strands Larson is... Actually, speaking of Strands Larson, he's, uh, we've loaned him out to a Russian club. I want to say Lokomotiv Moscow, um, but he's, he's off in Russia. 
I just don't think we're going to play him that much. I, I'm looking to maybe sell him with a sell-on clause because he is he is a decent target man. He scores goals, so there will always be always be someone interested in buying him. So I think we may not get our full transfer value from him, um, but if he goes somewhere and plays, I'm sure he will. Magnanelli, oh, it's oh, it's Wilson over the bar. Oh, second goal there would have eased the nerves somewhat, wouldn't it? All right, another attacking highlight. It starts off as... Oh, it's not a good throw. Can we get onto that? We can. Kone's there. Back down to Stemankovic. Can he get in? Look at the space in there. Spreading the ball nicely to Ben Davies. He's coming a bit narrow. It's a good ball through for Wilson. Oh, hey! That's two on the night. We're ahead on aggregate now. This is much better from us, isn't it? In 38 minutes, we've undone the damage of the first leg. Now we just need to make sure that we keep it that way. It's a nice little ball through, wasn't it, for Ben Davies, and Wilson has tucked that in expertly. Can we get into half time here? That is obviously the aim. They haven't had a shot on target yet. I think this is half time. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, I think... What do we want to tell them here? We don't want to get complacent. So we might... Yeah, don't look at the scoreboard. We're going to pick up where we left off. We'll go with that. We'll give them some calm... We actually, we might tell Lima... It hasn't been... Ha, Lima hasn't been at his best lately, actually. Um, I've been toying every game with the idea of playing Doyle Hayes instead of him. Um, he's just a little bit more mobile, but Doyle Hayes is also better in the air, sort of a stronger presence. Um, so I don't mind bringing Doyle Hayes off the bench. Deli Alley's not having his best game either here, is he? It's, it's okay. We're 2-0 up. We don't need to, to worry too much about things. We've got a corner. Can we knock one in? It's not a good corner from Ben Davies. If we can get a ball back out. Oh, it's gone back into the mixer. Magnanelli retrieves it for us. Conrad Lima. We've got... Let's just try and keep the ball here, guys. We've got... Look, we've got runners here. Look at that. Ben Davies, is it? Oh, that'd be Stemakovic down the right, wouldn't it? Can he get a ball in? He can to the back post. It's Ben Davies down the camera. And it's a little bit of insurance, isn't it? We can... We don't want to, but we can now afford to concede a goal and still be ahead on the tie. This has been so much better. Stemankovic knocks it in nicely. Ben Davies down for Jordan Cameron, and he couldn't miss. Well, he could, but he didn't, which is <laughs> very much appreciated. So we've given them some praise for that. Can we go on here? Maybe that first leg, maybe that's just angered us and woken us up. It's another best ball in. It's a little deep, but Wilson will retrieve the defensive head up. Gets the ball back in. Stemming Cole yeah! This is an absolute riot now, isn't it? 4-0 in the 60th minute. Not the best defensive header. You'd think just put that out for the corner. But Wilson's gone back, and Stemankovic has come in at the back post, stabbed at home. This is more like it, isn't it, guys? Much better. All right, now I think we might look to even start resting some players here. I don't think they're going to come back. So let's get Callum Mosley on the field. Uh, let's get Dixon on the field as well. Uh, there's no pressure. Let's send them out to just go out and do their thing. We don't want to risk an injury to players that we, we do kind of need uh, when the game is as it is right now and more or less in the bag. The, if Cameron, I wouldn't mind giving him a rest, actually. Let's give them a concentrate. The problem we have right now is with Gonzalez injured is that we don't really have another striker that has that physical presence that we get from, um, from Cameron. So I just I do want to wrap him in cotton wool just a little bit. So we'll bring the boob on for him. The boob has not had a good season. Um, so if he could maybe just nick a goal, just try and get some confidence back. We know he's a wonderful player. 
uh, someone we took straight from, out of African football as well, African club football. Same with Kone. We've actually had a pretty good record of signing Ivorian straight from the Ivorian National League. Good tackle from Callum Mosley. Dixon to Luis Felipe. Spread the play nicely there. Stamankovic down the line for the boob. What can he do? Can he find a bit of magic? He's dinked it in for Callum Mosley. Oh. So, so close. few minutes to go here. We've got three goals up, so we don't really need to worry about a comeback here. I wouldn't have thought, um, though we've said that before and had a few heartbeats missed, haven't we? But surely not. Surely, surely, surely <laughs> we've got this tie in the bag now. So we'll be able to uh, see the, the draw for the quarterfinal. I think that's uh, coming up in between this and our game against Middlesbrough. So I'll make sure we come back for that so we can see who we get. I think, I'm trying to think who's been knocked out. I, most of the big guns are there. I think Barcelona got knocked out by, was it Arsenal knocked them out? I think Barcelona got knocked out. So that's neither here nor there, I guess. It would have been kind of nice to play against Messi, wouldn't it? And see how we go. Callum Mosley, can he find a ball in for the booby <laughs> Oh, just stop the fight now. This is an absolute riot. This is the, more like what we should have been doing in the first leg, isn't it? We could have actually rested a few more players, maybe given Mosley and Boob a start, but we couldn't risk it before the game. But now we are absolutely flying. 5-0. This is amazing. So if you are enjoying this, uh, do make sure you give the video a thumbs up. It helps people find the channel, and obviously that is much appreciated by myself. Um, and of course, if you are new, subscribe. It looks like the Champions League is back on, isn't it? That has been a much, much better performance. 5-0. So onwards we go in uh, hopefully to go one step better than last year. There we go. 5-0. 6-2 on aggregate. Much, much better. Let's have a look at who has gone through. Okay, so PSG has knocked out City. So it's PSG, Madrid, Juventus, AS Monaco. That's probably the one we want, isn't it? Uh, then Bayern's knocked out AC Milan. Atletico has knocked out United. And it was Arsenal did knock out Barcelona. So of those, you'd probably have to say AS Monaco. But uh, we'll be back momentarily with the draw and see who we get. Okay, here we go with the quarterfinal draw. Let's see who we get. I think we want AS Monaco, but let's let's see who we get. Uh, first out the hat. We didn't. We go to... Okay. Arsenal, I'd rather not play Arsenal, Bayern Munich. Will we get Paris, I wonder? Replay the final? We do. We have Paris in the quarterfinals. We're away first leg. So we get our chance of revenge a little bit earlier than we may have liked. Um, so Paris Saint-Germain in the quarterfinals. That's going to be tough. All right, have we all recovered from that wonderful Champions League result? And then, <laughs> questionable draw, uh, but we'll deal with that next episode. Right now, it's Middlesbrough. You can see where the favourites were in excellent form. Our form has really picked up lately. And if we look at the league table, I didn't actually show you that beforehand, did I? Um, but you can see we are now only a point behind Arsenal with a game in hand. So we're right there with Arsenal pot potentially ahead of them. Um, the problem, of course, is that United have the same amount of games as us. They're one point behind um, so it's very much, I think, like last season, it's turning into a three-horse race. Leicester's there, but as you can see, they've played two extra games, and they're still three, four points behind. Um, and then Chelsea, perhaps, as well, uh, is not far off. Are they 62 if they win their game in hand on us? So maybe a three-horse race is a little bit premature yet, but it is still tight, but we are, we're right up there, which is really, really promising. So the team we're going with against Middlesbrough, it's more or less the same team. A few minor changes. We're bringing Golini back in um, for his first game after injury. So he comes back in goal. We've got uh, Van Drongel and Magnelli Kone. Davies and Stemankovic with the width. We're going to give Doyle Hayes a run out um, for Lima. Lima's played a lot of games. He's, he's injury uh, in the medical. He's injury uh his injury proneness is, is starting to get a little bit high. So we're going to give him a rest. Then we're going to go with Felipe, Ali, Cameron, and Wilson. Um, and we have, we have, of course, Patrick Roberts also back on the bench for this game, should we need him. All right, so we can see Middlesbrough a lot more attacking, aren't they, than what uh, Moscow came out at. So hopefully that will leave more space for us to attack into. Um, he's saying do it for the fans again. Oh, come on, keep our run going. Uh, then we'll give it a little bit of a passion that we have faith. I've, 
beginning to feel that the you know calm in both phases of the team talk is not really working. So I'm go- we're going to try the passionate and see if that goes any better for us. Come on, boys. All right. Now, hopefully, Golini won't let in a hell here either, having dropped Pereira, who has kept a number of clean sheets for us. Um, yeah, so hopefully, Golini's not going to make me look silly on that one. Let's see how we go here. It's pretty even, pretty close start to the game. Give them some encouragement. The oh, Ben Davies. We'll see how bad that injury is. Can we get that clear, please? We're just going to let them have the ball back at the edge of the area. And again, let's win that. Well done, Cameron. Oh, we and straight to Wilson's feet. Can we Can we get something here? Look at the man in the middle. Go on, Wilson. Oh, square it. Please square it. Go yourself. Score. Oh, post. If you're going to go yourself there, Wilson, you have to score. Um, what's he done? Potential knee injury. All right, let's 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 not muck around with that. Um, yeah. He is our first choice left back, and we do have Paris coming up in the not-too-distant future. So we'll bring Mings on. Uh, we saw last episode, not last episode, the episode before that against Arsenal, he absolutely bullet header at the back post getting forward um, from left wing back. So hopefully something similar here. Deli Ali has the ball. Men all around it. Oh, that could have found its way through. It's finished. It's finished. It's finished. Wilson now. Also, oh, he's missed again. Oh, we've got to be scoring these goals. Right, let's give them a concentrate. Have we got our yips in front of goal back? All right. Another corner. Can we get a head on that? We can. To Deli Ali. Can he get another clearance? He can to Wilson. Third time's a charm for James Wilson. Come on, son. Look at that men in the middle again. This time he's gone back post. That's Stemankovic back into the middle. It's got to be there. <laughs> we ripped them open again, and it was third time's a charm. I wasn't quite sure what Wilson was doing here, but quite good vision to pick up Stemankovic getting forward, and he's knocked in a nice ball. Deli Alley couldn't miss all alone. More or less on the goal line, wasn't he? Just had to head it in. So that is a little bit more relaxing for us. But as I said, look at that. It's been an even game. We are struggling a little bit here. This is like what some of the games were in between episodes. They were just like this where we weren't really imposing ourselves on the game. All right, Ali. What's he got for us? A nice little pass for Doyle Hayes. That's nicely played out of the back, isn't it? It's a bit of a hack forward in the end. But Wilson's got onto it. Beaten his man, knocked it forward. Is Cameron there? He is. Back to Wilson. No, over Wilson to Mings. Can Mings pick out a teammate in the box? It's a decent cross. Just not quite a man, enough men forward there, was there? It's not that long to half time, so we don't really want to go and concede. Is this going to end up being their highlight? Can we get a foot in there? We can't. Mings, just go with your man, Mings. We know he has a tendency. Nicely cut out by Magnanelli. Back to his Italian counterpart, Golini. What is this highlight is going on a little bit. Let's hope we don't make a silly mistake. It's a nice ball over the top for Cameron. Can he square it? He can. Wilson! Oh, it's got to... Wilson is having one of those games where he doesn't look like he's going to score. Oh, we might have to get Callum Mosley warming up. We'll have a word at half time. And see if we can snap him out of it. But look at these match ratings. We're not playing well. We should be absolutely galloped down the road into the distance. Let's give it an assertive. We're not really happy with that. Uh, James Wilson, maybe a calm. Show everyone what you're capable of. Of course, that's not what he's capable of, is it? All right, let's get back out there, guys. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how Wilson goes here in uh, improving that performance. And if not, um, we will look to bring Callum Mosley on. It's a like-for-like like sub, so we don't really have to change too much. He's gone backwards again. Give them some encouragement. Wilson continues to go backwards. This will be his last highlight. If he doesn't do something here, then we're just going to have to have to get him off. Oh, it's left him all alone. That was always the danger, wasn't it? 
All right, so Wilson's done. I don't know what has happened to him this game, but he has just... He's just never looked like going to score. He's just missed three absolute sitters. So Callum Mosley has, what's that, 35 minutes to rescue this for us. All right, let's demand more. We're all motivated. Everything looks fine. Of course, that is two of our subs used up as well, so we just have to be a little bit more careful now with hopefully no more injuries. What is happening here? We should be able to get that. We can Ming's first time ball up for Mosley. It's a decent pass in for Luis Felipe. That's okay. Stamankovic, look at the space in here for him to run into. He runs into it nicely. Goal! Is it? No, yes, no. Oh, I was so close for Deli Alley. Everybody's still motivated. We can't have too many complaints. Let's do a push forward. We're starting to get on top. We just can't really keep the ball, can we? All right, let's maybe do mixed passing, close down more, higher tempo. Uh, I think I just see back there that uh, Jordan Cameron has picked up a knock, which needless to say is not what we want. Uh, he has to stay on because we don't have another striker we can bring on. Uh, demand more. Can we get a goal here? We don't want to be dropping silly points again. It's over the top for Mings. He's got onto it. Can he find a cross? Mings dinks it in for Cameron. Oh, Cameron, what is wrong with our finishing this game? Uh, I mean, you, it's beginning to look just... As long as we don't end up getting mugged, because that's kind of what it feels like, doesn't it? All right, so Cameron is officially done. We don't have another striker. It's just that sort of a game, isn't it? All right, we'll just what we'll do is we'll play Patrick Roberts as a false nine, I guess. I mean, there's only the merest amount of stoppage time left here, so it's not going to make too much of a difference. That, of course, likely rules Cameron out. For Paris, which is not ideal. I don't think... No, Gonzalez was pretty much done for the year, wasn't he? Oh, it's all gone a little bit wrong after that wonderful Moscow performance. Oh, I can't believe we didn't win that. Uh, that's going to have to be an aggressive. That wasn't good enough. Middlesbrough hold out for draw. Okay, so it's an international break coming up. We have 14 days to our next game. Davies is not going to be there for that, but Cameron might be. All right, well, that's a little bit disappointing. It started so well, that episode, didn't it? And then it all fell apart. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll come back. We'll just, uh, you know what we'll do? We'll do a, a Paris doubleheader next episode. We'll do both legs. Um, so make sure you come back for that. Like and subscribe uh, to this video if you have enjoyed it. But otherwise, I've been Ozzy Bill, and thank you very much for watching. And here are some of our best goals of the month for March. We'll catch you next time. Take care.
Thank you.